So in this video, I wanted to briefly talk through pilot fountain pen filling basics. We have some entry level pilot fountain pens and some filling options here. So I kind of want to just run through them. So I know this is something a lot of people have questions about. We'll be going through the pilot Metropolitan. This is about a $15 all metal fountain pen. The Pilot Explorer, this is about a 20 or $22 fountain pen, uh, all plastic, but it's a little bit newer than the Explorer. This is a Pilot Kukuno. This is kind of the student pen, costs about maybe $12. And then lastly, we have the Pilot Pereira. It's about a $30 pen, kind of getting away from like entry level. Uh, and it's not too different than the other ones, but I wanted to throw it in here because it reveals some of the things that we'll be talking about later. I think it's an interesting pen to compare to the rest. Then for filling them, we have kind of Pilot's standard cartridges. We have the big converter, the Con 70. We have the most popular converter, the Con 40. And then we have this guy, this is the Con B. Looks a little bit like the Con 20, but they're actually different things. And this is just one of those converters. Four pens, four converters. So we'll go through the whole system over the next few minutes. Uh, but I did want to talk about the first thing, which is size is sometimes an issue. You would think that all pilot parts fit, fit with all pilot pens. That's not the case. This Con 70 will only fit in the pens with the larger barrels. So for example, the Con 70 will not fit in the most expensive pen here, the Pereira. This back end, the barrel, is just too short to accommodate the Pereira. The Con 70 will fit in with the Explorer, and it will fit in, ironically, with the cheapest pen here, the Kakuno, but it won't fit with the Metropolitan. The Metropolitan used to include this Con B. I'm not sure if it still does. This is kind of an outdated aerometric style refill uh, converter, rather, just kind of push the air out of this rubber sack and then suck it in. It's really not a great design. These sacks wear out and has very limited capacity. Plus you obviously can't see how much ink is in there. So it's a little bit annoying from that perspective, but we'll just kind of use it anyway. So as far as the pairing goes, usually you'd want to pair the most expensive converter with the most expensive pen. After all, a Con 70 might cost about seven or eight dollars. So putting it into a $12 Kakuno sounds a little bit ridiculous but it's definitely something you could do. And if you like writing with this fountain pen, then there's no reason not to go with the uh, converter that you like. This is obviously transferable from pen to pen, plus it lasts basically forever. But with the uh, Kakuno, we'll pair something else. And I wanted to put the Con 70 in the Explorer, just because this is kind of my favorite of these pens right now. So the process for that is very simple. Take the cap off. All these pens are recently cleaned, so they're all dry and clean and all that. So take the barrel off, set those aside, and you don't fill the converter first. You can, but you generally don't. And this you just would press in here, and it's a nice press fit. That's it. Just give it a good push. That's all there is to it. The way this one works is you push down, and you're looking at this little plunger here. You push that down, it creates a seal right now. Now it's pushing air out, pushing air out, pushing air out. Now it's created a negative pressure vacuum in here right now because this is pushing air out like a valve. And when you let go, you let go hard and it sucks air in. You don't let it up slowly, you let it up with a pop. And you can see the plunger pops up. That's the kind of that reverse that like pulling action, that sucking action. So it's a pretty simple process, but it takes some getting used to. So that is the Explorer with the Con 70. I have some very simple ink here. This is just Waterman. Uh, this is just like good utilitarian ink. It's not like I chose this strategically, but uh, it'll get the job done. And again, not very expensive. So we'll give this a good dip in here. Try to show it to the camera, push it down. Pretty good fill, probably could go a little bit more, but the point is 
you have a really nice capacity on here and uh, it's a really kind of fun action. Definitely one of the most fun converters out there. Probably the most fun. That's one of the reasons the Con 70 is a very desirable option. It's one of the nicer things about this Explorer pen because you can use that larger converter. Let's give that a wipe. And we have a fully inked Explorer and that will have maybe, you know, like not quite a milliliter of ink, but if you fill it, it'll have over a milliliter of ink in there, which is, you know, easily a full day writing for most people. Moving along, we have the Explorer. I mean, sorry, this you have the uh, Metropolitan. And with this pen, you can fit either your Con 40, your Con B, or your cartridge. So I think for this one, let's just go ahead and use the cartridge. It's very simple. You just want to push it in. Uh, you know, just get the wider end. And you can see, can't quite make that out, but you just push it in. This thing, the key is just to apply firm, smooth pressure. And you're pushing from here, not from the nib. Maybe that's obvious, maybe it's not. Depends on how into pens you are. Give it a push, and that's it. Because the nib was never dipped, that means it's gonna take some time for the ink to make its way through the feed system down through the nib. You can make that process a little quicker by squeezing the cartridge. Obviously, you don't wanna to squeeze too much, so this ink will start coming out of here and it won't come out of the nib area, it'll come through the back through the one of the breather holes, or the breather hole. Or you can give it a little bit of a shake. But you can see this area is, the ink is going down as the ink starts to fill into all the feed area here. And that's kind of the pen is designed to hold a lot of ink here. So that's why this is going down, but we're not seeing ink drain out of the front of the pen. Maybe that's obvious if you know a little bit about fountain pens, but if you're new to it, it could be a little bit of a confusing process. And this thing will write eventually. Again, you could give it a little shake, but you gotta be careful not to shake too hard. You definitely don't wanna shake it and knock the nib. Anyway, uh, I have a video about how to get your pen started if you're new to it. Otherwise, since it doesn't really matter for us, we'll just wait. Now we have this little, little guy. This is, again, the Con B. Again, can easily confusable with the Con 20, but that's slightly different. That one has more of a, it has a rubber sack, but it has a full metal surround, so it looks a little bit different. This one we'll put just in this Pereira, so I don't use a Pereira as much. So if filling it with the lowest capacity refill makes sense. So this one, you're just gonna get this and push it in firmly, and that's it. It doesn't, you don't have to line this up in any particular way. So this is a pretty simple process. You're gonna put it in here and squeeze, suck in, and then squeeze, suck in. Usually two will do it. And uh, you can't really tell how good of a job you did, which you can't see into that rubber sack. But even if you do a great job or a poor job, the capacity on this is quite limited. So it kind of doesn't really matter so much these things, I would generally tell people, you know, use it until you have something better and then just, you know, set it aside. It's just like kind of just not my favorite way to go and just not as good of an experience as it can be. It seems wasteful just to throw it out, but really the, the Con 40 is, uh, you know, these things sell for about four bucks each and they last forever and they're a lot easier to clean and then you could see in them, which to me is a big advantage. And then there you have your fully inked Pereira. Last up, we have the Kakuno. Again, we could have used any of the refill options here. Uh, the Con 70 would definitely fit in here, and that Kakuno plus the Con 70 is definitely a fun option. But we'll go ahead and put in the Con 40. The Con 40 is kind of a interesting refill uh, refill mechanism or converter because these things just don't fill up that well. If you were to just pull it in, actually, we'll just go ahead and give it a fill. So with the Con 40, like I was saying, what you will do is you'll get your ink, put your pen down, angle it, get the nib fully immersed, and just twist this tool up. 
you'll see you won't generally get a very good fill, maybe like in the 50% range, 60% range, it's not ideal. You can go ahead and do it again, go down, and then go back up, go down, and go back up. If you do it a few times, you can generally get into you know the 75%, 80 fill range, 80% fill range, which is not terrible. And uh, yeah, that's it. I forgot to wipe that cocoon down when I grabbed it. Again, hazards of doing video. But now we have our fully inked fountain pens and ready to go. And now you've, I could say, it's a pretty good understanding of how to ink your pilot fountain pens. Thanks for watching.